Lockheed Martin has begun flying new F-35s with the TR-3 package installed. TR-3 replaces older hardware dating back to the 2000s. The result will be a fighter ready for Block 4, an upcoming series of enhancements that will bring new weapons, hardware, software, and other capabilities. Lockheed Martin is flying the first production F-35 fighter jets with the new TR-3 hardware and software update in Fort Worth, Texas, the U.S. defense contractor told Janes in late November. This marks a progression from the software's flight debut back in January, when a developmental test team at Edwards Air Force Base in California first flew a TR-3 configured F-35. Known as Technology Refresh 3, the update clears the way for a slew of new capabilities, known as Block 4, which will keep the fighter competitive with other emerging fifth-generation jets. Most F-35s worldwide will get the update replacing older 2010s era tech a key stage in the fighter's evolutionary timeline. The New Flying Computer The F-35 is often called a flying computer due to its use of a central computer system to control all aspects of the aircraft. The computer system handles the radar, the electro-optical surveillance system known as the Distributed Aperture System DAS pilot interface and avionics, weapons, electronic warfare, and even the engines. However, like all computers, the F-35 computing backbone has slowly shown its age, preventing newer, more demanding features from being added. Technology Refresh 3 is essentially a major hardware and software upgrade for the F-35. It replaces the airplane's core processor which the U.S. Government Accountability Office describes as processing data for each mission with a new version that has 16 times the processing power and for 0.5 times the memory. TR-3 also replaces the aircraft's memory system with a new version that can store 20 times the data. Probably the most visible improvement to pilots will be the panoramic cockpit display electronics. You need, like a Tesla or other luxury electric car, the F-35 incorporates an 8x20-inch LCD, giving the pilot access to key data and controls in mid-flight. This panoramic cockpit display incorporates a touchscreen and can reportedly withstand a puncture or a crack and still remain usable. The PCDEU is a hardware update behind the display that boosts the processing power 8 times over and the memory 12 times. Toward Block 4 TR-3's increased computing power will set the stage for Block 4, a new suite of capabilities for the entire line of F-35 jets. According to Air and Space Forces magazine, Block 4 is largely a software upgrade meant to run on new TR-3 hardware. That will deliver 53 improvements to the jet. The only expected hardware modifications will be on the weapons bay in order to physically accommodate new weapons and new cooling hardware designed to keep the computer system from overheating. As a result, the F-35 won't change its external appearance and action that would negatively affect its carefully crafted stealth profile. Block 4 will deliver improvements to both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The upgrade will increase the performance of the distributed aperture system. A set of six infrared cameras positioned in all directions around the F-35 allowing the pilot to see through the jet below and even pick up the telltale launch plume of a nearby ballistic missile on the ground. The increased computing power benefits the existing APG-81 radar system, which allows the F-35 to detect targets in the air, on the ground, and jam enemy radar systems, but will also allow the installation of the newly developed APG-85 radar destined to replace the APG-281. The current F-35 fighter is a bit limited in weapon selection, at least compared to other fighters. Right now, the F-35 can embark the AIM-9X Sidewinder Infrared Guided Air-to-Air -air Missile, the longer-range AIM-120MROM Radar Guided Missile, the GBU-31 to 1,000-pound GPS Guided Smart Bomb, GBU-3 to 1,000-pound GPS Guided Bomb, and GBU-12,500 pound Laser Guided Bomb, in particular. The current version of the F-35 lacks the ability to conduct standoff attacks at long ranges. 
Block 4 will also let the F-35 carry a whole new suite of weapons, including the 575-mile range JASS Emmer land attack cruise missile, the Navy's joint standoff weapon JSOWC-1 missile, and the Norwegian joint strike missile, a land attack cruise missile based on the naval strike missile. The F-35 will also carry the shorter-range, all-weather GBU-53 IBI Stormbreaker-guided bomb. Block 4 will also add the F-35's ultimate firepower capability, the ability to deploy the B-61-12 thermonuclear gravity bomb.